the looks of this sign, that hasn't changed. I know the top's the same. And that sure looks like it's been there for a long time. So. so it's pretty early in the morning and I'm here for my daughter's figure skating contest or competition. And this is my first time back to Southwest in many, many years. So decided to take a little video. Maybe some of you guys played here growing up and haven't been here for a long time, or maybe you moved out of the area. Hopefully this will be a cool little nostalgic video for you to look at. This is my home rink for St. Jude. The first few years of my hockey career played for St. Jude Knights. I love coming somewhere where nothing's changed. be able to walk into it's like walking into your grandma's basement that hasn't changed since the 1970s it's a cool feeling I like going to restaurants that haven't changed and you know just get a little taste of nostalgia from when you were younger so this definitely looks the same walking up to it so we're out in the lobby now and the lobby obviously looks different there's not carpeted anymore the old snack bar bathrooms. That used to be a pro shop. It's not a pro shop anymore. It's some sort of a banquet room. Doors walking to the outside and then when we were real little, I remember skating on this little mini rink, which looks pretty much exactly how it used to. I think they changed the paint on the walls, but uh, this looks pretty much exactly how it did back in the early 1990s. This is actually, I face planted, we were at not even playing hockey, it was an open skate, and I face planted um, right in this rink and split my chin open. And I remember going to the bathroom and thinking it didn't feel that bad and then seeing it and then kind of freaking out and I had to go get stitches. So this is where that happened. I believe I was wearing some sweet Bauer turbos, actually. It was before I actually started playing organized. So yeah, wearing the turbos and trying to show off and face planted and split my chin open on the small rink here at Southwest. Back out to the left. Remember that fireplace. The cool thing I found was in this trophy case, this is the carpet that used to be throughout the whole place. It was, uh, the lobby was carpeted with that orange carpet. And I think it was in the locker rooms too, if I remember right. So yeah, that's the original carpet. I thought that was pretty cool detail. Anybody that played here will remember that old orange carpet. We got it looking pretty good in here. Way to go, Southwest. So yeah, that used to be the bar up there. That's actually the bar, I don't remember what it was called. Co Kokomo's maybe. Coconuts, Kokomo's. Probably 1991, uh, Steve Larmer came to sign autographs. Steve Larmer, and I think there might've been another guy, but I remember Steve Larmer because I picked number 28 as a kid because I really liked Steve Larmer, so. Cool story is he, but that music's too loud. Let me try to get away from that music. What I loved about Steve Larmer is he was a great player, but he was not flashy. The guy can make great passes, the guy could score goals, but he wasn't flashy at all. I just liked his humbleness and his style of play. So I went with number 28. And a cool story about Steve Larmer is when I went up there, I actually had a broken hand at the time, which stunk because I couldn't play, but I mentioned to Mr. Larmer that I picked 28 because I liked him and his, uh, his style of play, and he was gracious enough to talk to me for a good, probably three or four minutes, which when there was a bunch of kids waiting behind me in line, I thought that was pretty cool of him to take the time to 
say a couple extra encouraging words because of the fact that I told him that I was number 28. So thanks, Mr. Larmer. Hope everything's going well. Hell yeah, working and everything. Sweet. Push button. Shootsy scores. This is walking down the hallway to the locker rooms. Anybody that played here remembers this hallway. And I'm pretty sure that the locker rooms have been redone. It seems like a lot of the stuff has been redone here. But this is kind of cool because this feels and looks exactly the same as it does as it did. Whenever I'm gonna see if I can peek in a locker room here. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely redone. They were like a I don't remember, like a maroon or orange. And I remember the floors being carpeted. I think the floors were carpeted. Yeah, shower looks about the same. Not too many people use those back when we were kids anyway. So yeah, the cool part about the setup here at Southwest was, I think this was, was this where the refs were? Or around the corner? Yeah, this must have been where the refs sat. Locker room two all the way down at the end. So the cool part about playing at Southwest when we were kids was you'd hear music playing and the stands are above us here. As you can see. So if it was a big game, there'd be a lot of people in the stands and people would be stomping their feet and you could hear people sit above you. And uh, walking down this hallway was getting ready to get on the ice. And that's where you kind of started gearing up mentally because we were heading towards the playing surface. So here we are on the walk down the hallway from the Southwest locker rooms out to the entrance. And when they had bigger games, they would actually have an organ up there. And guys, Gary, Gary Presti, I think was his name was a professional organist in the Chicago area and he would actually be kind enough to come and play some music for some of the high school slash kids games. So that was an added bonus when you come here and he had some organ music to play too. It made you feel like a big shot. So it's my little girl warming up for her ice skating or for her figure skating competition. So yeah, Southwest Ice Arena brings back a lot of good memories. It's a cool place to play growing up. Organ lock and check it out. More of that sweet carpeting. So I'm back in the front door area, and if my memory serves me correct, this they have this St. Rita area here. But if my memory serves me correct, they used to have sheets with like team suspensions and people that were banned banned from the rink. If any of you guys remember that, leave a comment. 